If you guys are looking for the fastest, safest, cheapest coins on the internet, go to my sponsor, use code DOG for a 15% discount on checkout. Today, we're going to talk about how you guys can make coins with this new NFL playoff promo. Before we get started, we got to give a shout out to the post notification gang. I'm going to put five comments on the screen and that's what we're going to start doing. The first five comments on the video are going to get a post notification shout out. So if you want to be a part of the post notification shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on. As soon as the video drops, you have five chances to get on this shout out. Okay, so let's go over the NFL playoffs, right? So this is the promo that just dropped. You guys can exchange 389s through 90s, 587s through 88, 785s through 86, and you get one choice of a 95 overall player. Now, this could be a good way in the future to make coins, but right now it's just way too expensive. The players are hitting for about 400 to 500K each player, and it doesn't really make sense. So also, if you guys need coins, don't be afraid to hit up the sponsor, man. They got coins, a whole bunch of them, and y'all get a 15% off if y'all use my code DOG, all caps, at checkout. So go ahead and get y'all coins if y'all need them. I'm gonna show you guys another way to make coins. Now, hopefully later on, it seems like we might get some more sets inside of this set. We might have more opportunity to make coins as far as putting like 80 through 82s in and then potentially getting a chance at getting a 95 or getting 86s or 87s, whatever it is. I feel like EA has to keep going with this promo. It can't be done yet. Because of the NFL playoff sets, a lot of sets have went up in value. So we have to make coins with other sets. Now, I already did a math on some of these sets. So I do want to go over this Team Infinity set now. At first, I was like, man, this set, everybody know about the set right but one thing you don't know about the set is that these prices have increased so much that this set is super profitable right now right you need an 85 to 86 i seen the 85s for about 15k now you can find all these cars for cheaper if you can you just gonna have to sit on the auction block and snipe i'm just giving you what i see when i open up the auction block y'all could find cheaper cards and don't go off of this price because Xbox and PS4 prices is different. The prices go up and down. So don't go off of the prices I'm telling you in the video. Go off of the prices when you get on a game, you look at the prices the same way I did. 85s is hitting for about 15K, right? And 83s is hitting for about 7K. I really feel like you could find those cheaper, but that's just what I what I seen. And then the 80s were still hitting for about 2K. So that'll put us at 31K to complete this set. Now, majority of these cards, you can, remember you get a fantasy pack, so you can pick any one of these cards. Majority of these cars are selling for about 44 to 47k. So that means each time you complete in this set, you make it almost 10k profit by just putting cars in the set. And when I seen this, I said, yo, you can easily complete 10 of these in an hour, if not more. So this is so profitable as far as just putting cars into the set, especially when people need 88s to be completing these sets. You see the 88s, you see this 36k, and he's the cheapest one, but you see the 43s, 45s, 45s, right? People want these cards for whatever they want the cards for. Building themes, teams, and then you, they're using these cards to put into the set. You built the card at 31K. And then let's just say you, you built Morgan Moses, Kappa, whatever, whoever you want to build. You can go in and pick whoever you want to build and you sell them. Oh, this is a snipe right here. Let me go ahead and buy this real quick. That's that's stupid low. That's stupid low value right there. That's easy snipe. I mean, y'all can see this easy snipe because the cheapest card was a 36 and then a 40 right after. Then you got 44, 45. But you guys can see that you can put these cards up for 45 easily. They'll sell. Now, these are going to move pretty fast because people are going to be using them for sets. But these are going to be some of the cheapest cards in the filter. So you guys got to check the prices before you start doing it and then go ahead and recreate the set. Make your profit there. 36 just sold. So now the cheapest cards are 44. So now I could put that card up that I just got for a snipe for 45 and make 12K on it. Just that simple. Now, if you guys are building it, it's the same process. You're going to build it for about 31K, put it up for about 45, get back about 40K, and then you make 8 to 9K profit each time you do the set. A product of making videos, a product of helping y'all. You get blessed in return you feel me so when you help people you get blessed in return so make sure you help the people out there so you can get blessed in return with that so the next set we're going to dabble in is the team standout set now the nfl playoff promo did drop like we talked about earlier and some of these cars dropped and they power-ups went up through the roof there's still very profitable cars in this set that you can make coins on all you have to do is put the cards in the set and you can't make coins i'm not going to give away which players are profitable i'm going to make that you guys job to go and find which players are profitable all you need is an 86 82 to 84 i think and then a 78 through 80 you need a couple of those cards you put them in a set you sell the power ups you sell the main card and you profit on these very easily one of these cards is going for almost 200k and it only costs about 80k to make 
but that's for y'all to find out. I'm not gonna get that away, but you can make some, some crazy profit on that too. Now, I didn't check the 92s, but I'm pretty sure it's still profit in the 92s because people are gonna be using these cards to build theme teams, especially since these playoff players came up. People wanna build theme teams and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of profit in there. All of these team diamonds, they used to be stupid cheap, the 88. Any 88 used to be about 30K, right? They've all went up to about 50K. The 88s and 89s all went up to about 50K. So you could go ahead and do this set. Now this set is super simple. Some of the leads that go into the set could be overpriced. So you might have to find those at a snipe to make profit on the set. But a lot of these cards, you can buy them off the auction block for stupid cheap. You'll buy some of these goals for like 800, 500 coins. It just depends. Another way you could complete this set is you'll be able to do it with get a player packs. If you guys decided you want to do get a player packs, you can do it that way. Yes, you don't get a specific team, but let's say you spend about 100 to 200K on getting player packs just cause. And you can see, okay, if I got eight out of the 22 Browns cards, let me sell all my cards from the get a player pack and then do the Brown set and make profit there. But also, we could do it in a different fashion. If you guys were doing get a player packs and you were like, okay, I wanna make some coins. I only got about 40, 50K. You could just take the 40, 50K and sell all of these gold cards. A lot of these gold cards are expensive. They're going for a lot of coins. For example, this OJ Howard is going for 3,300 coins when normally these cards will cost you about 1,500 coins easily. Let's just say you got 40K, right? You open up, get a player packs and you happen to get 1078s. You automatically gonna sell each and every one of those 78s for about 3,000 3, coins when normally you will sell 10 of those 78s for about 1500 or below. Basically what I'm saying is that the profit margins are so much higher with get a player packs right now because there's so many cards that are desirable, especially with these gold cards. Even if it's a 74, you're still gonna make a lot of profit. Devin White is going for 4,400 coins as a 77. The profit margins on some of these cards are ridiculous. So it's always a good time to do this. Just to show y'all that I'm not capping out, look at the prices of the 88 Team Diamonds. Like these cars are never that expensive. An 88 is never going for 50K. They were going for 50K on release, but look at Eric Weddle going for 56. Some of these 88s are just going for way more than they should be. So that's why I say there's a lot of profit in here. I think Heath Miller, I seen Heath Miller, I think he was going for like almost 70,000 coins as a 88 overall player. Look at this man. If you build him, and let's just say you only spend 40K, you're gonna make 30K on him, easy. Okay, so I do wanna talk about this. So the 80 through 82 upgrade exchange set is kinda of profitable right now, right? Because the 83s is hitting for like 77, like 79, almost 8,000. While the 80s, you can find a lot of them for about 2,000 and below. So if you spend in 6,000 coins to make this, and the bare minimum 83 is hitting for about 79 even if you pull the worst possible car you still gonna make a thousand coins i ain't saying this is gonna make you a million but this could make you some coins it dawned on me because i was looking at the prices and i was like okay this doesn't make sense right but then if i go ahead and put these cars in a set now let's just say we bought all of those cars for 2k each now if we pull at 83 normally you could sell them for about okay 83 aaron jones let's go check and see if we make profit on him because i know when i was looking at the prices as the 83s i was like he's going for about seven thousand coins so if you consistently do this over and over and over, you get an 84, he gonna sell for a lot more than what you put in. He gonna sell for probably like eight towards closer towards 10K, but an 83 is automatically selling for that price too. So look at this, 10,000 coins. Are you serious? This man, I spent 6K and I could sell this car for 10,000 coins. I mean, granted, I didn't go and look at the 80 through 82s, but I was looking at the 80 through 82s earlier and I was seeing that they were selling for like 2K. So, and even this, even if they're not selling for 2K, do get a player packs. If you're doing get a player packs, the profit margins are crazy on those right now. I'm giving you guys so much game to make coins. If you don't got a lot of coins, the get a player packs have crazy profit margins right now. If you do got coins, you can go ahead and build a lot of the team infinity players and all that kind of stuff. But I do want to go ahead and check and make sure it might have went up. But even if they did go up, get a player packs, you get 80s almost every other one. Okay, so they kind of went up. It ain't stunned. They went up. It was not this expensive before I started this video. But hey, it happened. It be like that. But still, even though that they went up, like I said, get a player packs is so easy. A 2,500, that's not bad. That'll still cost you about 7,500 coins if you got them at 2,500. And then if you sold a car for 10K bare minimum, 
that's still 1500 coins profit that's not bad that's not bad man y'all y'all want to get on here and snipe you want to get on here and do get a player packs you can make coins don't get too caught up in the play uh nfl playoff players it's not that great to make those sets i i'm working on a way to make the sets for cheap but it's just gonna take too long. You're gonna have to put too many cards in the set, get so many free cards, all this kind of stuff. And it seems like you can make profit in other sets way faster. So don't get caught up in the playoff players, man. Get on here and capitalize on how expensive all the other cards is. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. I'm out, peace.